Welcome to Houston Life. Great to be here. This is terrifying. <laughs> it doesn't I, have to be. I'm nervous. I keep doing this. <gasps> That's a great way to smell your hand. Oh, not the your way breath? To, the way to test your breath is lick the back of your hand. <gasps> like perfume? Yeah, you, let it dry off a couple you seconds. You lick it? And then sniff that. And the reason that works is because the real cause of bad breath are bacteria that live in the back of your tongue, throat, and tonsils. They blend with your saliva. And the sulfur compounds that they make mixes in with the saliva. Once the liquid evaporates, the sulfur sticks to your hand. Interesting. Yeah, so and this is... Nothing. So Wait. this doesn't do anything. No. So people, you're telling us, people could be walking around with really stanky breath and that, have no idea. That's the reality. You cannot smell your own breath. It's a process called acclimation, where you get used to your own odor. So the stinky guy at work, I'm not going to say his name, uh, walks, walks, shows up at 9 o'clock, and everyone goes, ooh, 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 ooh. And he does not know that his breath stinks. At all. So that is no. the answer to the question we all have. That's the answer. Yeah. People don't know. They get used to their own odor. And because your mouth is so close to your nose, at least mine is, you don't, you don't realize it. You get used to that odor. You think it's zero. Because I've treated couples. We, we, have, we have a clinic in Los Angeles where we treat people with bad breath. And we have couples, and they both have bad breath. When they come in to be tested, because other people tell them your breath stinks, they register like a 1,000 on my machine here, my okay. helimeter, and they have extremely bad breath. But they both have it, so they don't know. They can't oh, tell no. one yeah. another. Yeah. This is so crazy. Okay, first of all, you're a graduate of UCLA School of Dentistry. Yes. Go Bruins, me too. I know, yeah. very oh, excited. Great. And this all started because of your teen daughter at the yes, time, right? Yes, many years ago, about 25 years ago, she was 13 years old. On the way home from school, her friends would always offer her gum and mints to the point where she finally got the hint that Aww. she had bad breath. So she came home, and here I am, a dentist. He says, Daddy, do I have bad breath? And because I also have a degree in bacteriology from UCLA, uh, I talked to some friends of mine about what could be the cause, because we used all those strong nuclear mouthwashes. Nothing helped. Okay. So I got a hold of this machine, which measures the amount of sulfur in your breath. And it turns out that the bacteria that live in the back of your tongue, throat, and tonsils produce what are called volatile sulfur compounds. They're chemicals. One's hydrogen sulfide. That's the rotten egg smell. Mm -hmm. Another is no. called cadaverine. Another is called putrescine, the smell of oh, rotting wow. flesh. <laughs> and that's, what's, that's what comes out of your mouth when you have wow. bad breath. And because her mouth was dry, she was in the girls' basketball team. Okay. And when your mouth becomes dry, those bacteria go nuts and produce bad breath, like when you have morning breath or when you're dehydrated or if you're fasting, your breath becomes horrendous. And that's what happened to her. And oh. you mentioned couples having a reading of a thousand, which is off the charts. Yes. I understand anything higher than 100 yes. is considered bad breath. Yeah, we call it your breath sucks. It's a technical term we use in the office. Yes. Oh, oh, dear. <laughs> okay. You want to get tested? <laughs> Let's do it. Okay, okay, let me ask you this while you get set up, doctor. Sure. Have you ever noticed that I have like bad breath? I mean, have you ever noticed? I've this? never noticed that you okay. have bad breath. Have you ever noticed that no. I have it? But you're always popping Listerine tabs. Derek Mintz is what my kids uh, call I have these is Listerine tabs constantly. Are those bad? Well, because the trick to getting rid of bad breath is introducing oxygen. That's the natural enemy of the bacteria that cause bad breath. Those don't have oxygen, but we'll show you products that do have oxygen. <laughs> but not like this. First? Not like that. Okay. You, Derek's go, who's going Derek first? will go first. Oh, okay. Okay. I breathe into the straw? Yeah, you're going to, no, like this. Stick your tongue out and hold your breath. Oh, I hold my breath? Yeah, hold your breath. Okay. Yeah, hold your, it has a vacuum. It sucks up your breath air. <laughs> do you hold need me breath. to go first? You've no, never okay. done this before? <laughs> Give it a few seconds, and let's see what we have there. Oh, not bad. A 49? 49. Not bad. Not bad. Not Ooh, bad. Okay, I'm relieved. Oh, no, you boy. told me you brushed your teeth beforehand, which is very helpful. I did brush yeah, my teeth. Very I was helpful. worried about this segment. Courtney, yes. did you brush yours? I, well, and I do every day at, the, at that time. Okay. So I, I did. Okay, now one other trick to see if your breath is fresh or not, take a look at your tongue in a well-lit mirror. If it's oh. pink, and yours is pink, well, okay. that's good. That's good. That means you have plenty of saliva. Saliva is key. If it's white, that means you're overproducing sulfur compounds. Okay, holding my breath, right? Yes, hold your breath and stick your tongue out. This is so pretty to look at. Courtney, this oh, is like you're good. really great. You're good. Look at that. 19? Oh, it uh, was 19. Well, 23. It's still excellent. Excellent. Okay. But oh, let, let's say, for example, nervous. you're at that Super Bowl party. Right. And there's a salad there with onion in it. <gasps> you did not oh, just do that. Wow, doctor. That's a California onion, and it's bad. <laughs> oh, wow. So even okay. a little bit of onion. Oh, no. Okay, let's look at this reading. 
Well, it's going 70, up, up, 90, up. 121, 150, oh, almost 200, oh, there Over it is. 200, 237. Yeah, that's just a little bit of onion. So what we do in our clinics, this is the TheraBreath mouthwash, and it's at H-E-B. And TheraBreath? TheraBreath, like therapy for your breath. Okay. okay, what's in it? Can I smell it? Yeah, sure. It has very light natural oh, mint. Oh, very nice, like spearmint. Yeah. Ooh, it is nice. Yeah. Okay. I'm just going to rinse a little bit. Excuse okay. Me. Yes, of course. Please. And while you do this, mm -hmm. I, I have a question for you about alcohol in some of mm. these really intense mouthwashes. Because I've heard that the alcohol content in it, a lot of people like the feeling of their mouths burning. Well, but that can have the reverse effect, we were right? were trained many years ago to think that the burn is good. It's, it's not. It's bad. It can cause sloughing inside the mouth. If you're diabetic, the alcohol makes the mouth dry, which makes it worse. Okay. So be very careful with alcohol. There's alcohol in mouthwash. There's alcohol even in some toothpaste. Obviously, drinking a six-pack of beer will not freshen your breath. I've done that research, too. Oh, right. okay. <laughs> and we're seeing some of these common causes of bad breath. And you're saying, doctor, that that dry mouth can be exacerbated by alcohol use. Of course, yes. smoking, that's an obvious Even one. Even medications, antihistamines, antidepressants, high blood pressure medicine, all have dry mouth as a side effect. So if those are a problem, again, we have specific TheraBreath products for dry mouth. Okay, okay. so doctor's going to look at his breath reading now, but remember the foods that give you bad breath, onions, garlic, curry, they already contain those sulfur compounds, which is what we're reading here. Look Back at that after the Dropped into after the, the 30s. Reading. Yeah. Now you say, you know, Valentine's Day is right around the corner, yes. right? So we love the, the treats or the kids get the treats in yes. the classroom, but the sugar content it, The sugar's a problem. Sugar feeds all types of bacteria, the bad breath bacteria, the cavity bacteria, the gum disease bacteria. Sugar is not going to get rid of bad breath. What's interesting is many of the so-called breath mints yeah. that kind of come in the tins that taste really strong, they have two types of sugar. It has sucrose and glucose in it. It's candy. It's not going to fresh. And no, it makes it's just your breath mask. worse? It, well, it's going to feed the bacteria. So after you get that burst of mintiness, thinking, oh my God, am I fresh? The bacteria are going to work, and five minutes later, you've got more sulfur compounds. So it's just a, it's an illusion. You, what you want to do is attack the bacteria and stop them from creating the bad breath. And is it really all, is it basically how we're made up, or is it yes. how we're made up and what we're eating? That's a good question. Everyone has these bacteria. You need them because they help break down proteins and foods that you eat. Technically, what happens is the bacteria break down the proteins, extract the sulfur, and then create those sulfur compounds. So if your friends are on those high protein diets, they're going to have bad breath because they're, they're overdoing the proteins. Now, you need a balanced diet, obviously, right. but overdoing proteins can lead to bad breath. I remember a, a colleague that I worked with back when the Atkins thing yeah. was real popular. Yes, yes, yes. Horrible. Horrible. Like an breath. empty stomach, sort of like mothball y. Th that's exactly, yeah, that, that's exactly. Moth it. Uh, dude, I once dumped a guy because it was like a mothball y thing that that's I couldn't that get. That's that cadavering hard at work. We're tied on time, Dr. Oh. Katz, but very quickly. Yes. So I understand the concept of avoiding mouthwashes with obviously sugar, yes. alcohol, oh, or right. other drying agents. Yes. What if you're on the go, though, and you oh. need a mint that's yes. not going to yes. just give you that temporary burst? Right. So we've got these lozenges. They contain a natural flower extract, which stimulates more saliva. And again, it's at HEB and uh, Walmart, Target. Uh, all the drug chains have all these products. Number one the brand on Amazon, as a matter of fact. If you're really stuck and you have nothing near you, drink water. You gotta okay. drink between six and eight glasses of water a day. Look for fruits and vegetables which have a lot of liquid. And because it's Valentine's Day coming up, uh, we actually have some freebies for your viewers. They can call my office, 800-557-6960. Everyone in Houston will smell fantastic. Oh, I love it. And listen, Ooh. even if we don't have bad breath, or you ask our, you know, we ask our partners, I'm not smelling anything, yeah. we can still use this. It's just going to prevent yes, you because better it, than using these. Because attacking those sulfur compounds are excellent for your gums and keeps your teeth whiter because the sulfur stains your teeth as well. Oh. The less sulfur you have, the better your mouth is, and the better your overall system. There's a link between high incidence of gum disease and heart attacks and stroke. I don't want to get into the too depressing sure, stuff sure. here. Yeah, absolutely. Day. But your mouth is the doorway to the rest of your body. Yeah. The, the cleaner you keep your mouth, the healthier you're going to be. Fantastic. There you go, Dr. Harold so Katz, also known as the bad breath guru. Yeah, not the guru with bad breath. No. <laughs> there you go. I'm just relieved that we registered under 100 and you guys were great. Scale. Excellent. We were very Congratulations. We were very, I know. Here we go. Thank you so much, doctor. More info, by the way, is on our website. Absolutely. And we have stuff for dogs, too. Oh. At uh, therabreath.com. We have products for dogs. Okay, perfect. I'll we're going to get I'll, I'm going to test text later on. I love it.